Hi there. I'm here at the ATA show. I'm Andreas from Biter, and we have a really new good product this year. It's the Biter V Box. It's the Biter damper. Many dampers on the market. We have a new idea on how a damper should work, and that's what we did. We have a V Box, which is this black part in the middle, and it's made out of three parts. It's two mounts: one in the front for the front weights, one on the back to connect to the stabilizer, and in between we have a membrane. A membrane that we have in four different stiffnesses. As you see here, I can squeeze it, squeeze it much more, squeeze it not that much, and not that much at all. So we have four different stiffnesses for our membranes that you can easily exchange. This is the Biter V Box. You can go on YouTube and see some of the high speed movies to, that shows how the V Box works. Uh, the important thing is that not everybody has a 516 thread. So we offer threads from one quarter to 516, one inch and two inch long. But we also offer for this type of stabilizer a 516 in. Uh, four, uh, sorry, one quarter in to 516 adapter, also in one and two inches. Why? Because we would like you to use weights behind and in front of the V-Box. To, to use it not only in front, but also in the back. You have to distribute the weight. You need weight in front of the V-Box, in front of the damper, to activate the dampening, the inertia. But you need weight also in the back. So if you use 10 ounces, for example, don't put 10 ounces in front of the uh, damper. Put six in the back, or five in the back, five in front, six in the back, six in, four in front. As you can see here, we have plastic parts in between. They are available in 10 beautiful colors. The compensation spacers, that's the name, they compensate the distance that you have between the stabilizer and the V-Box or the front weights. Why? Because you can shift the weights. I show on this stabilizer here. These are six ounces that are distributed over almost one and a half, two inches. You can have those all packed to the back, packed to the front, and just having spaces in between to move them, to shift them forward and backward. So you will see at 30 inches draw and uh, length of the stabilizer, you may see that the damper acts completely different if you have the weight packed in the back, in the front, or distributed all over the thread. And as I said, 10 colors, the colors are always good to have. Uh, and another thing which is important, stabilizers have different diameters. But if you put, for example, a weight directly on the stabilizer, okay, you see there is a gap between the stabilizer and the weight. That means the vector forces work only on a small amount of the surface of the weights. So what we do, we have adapters, we have some, let's say, reducers. And this will go from the small to the large diameter, opening the vectors onto the whole surface of the weight. So, as you see, the Biter V-Box is a full system. You can go on the Biter website and uh, you have a PDF that you can download and you can see all the parts. But you can also go on our YouTube channel and see a tutorial on how it works and how to uh, handle it correctly. If you have any questions, contact us.